Hi guys, so this is something I forgot to cover in the last few days. This happened about 11 days back. So uh, the person you saw in the video is a very famous uh, film director in Bengal called Anik Dotto. And uh, he has had directed a movie called uh, Bhuter Bhavishwat uh, about 10, 10, 15, 10 years back from now. And that is officially the best comedy movie I have ever seen in my life. Uh, no matter what the language and i feel very sorry for my non-bengali friends because you guys will never understand the movie unless you are bengali yourself even with subtitles because there are many inside cultural jokes so that's uh, of, and officially it's the second best movie i've ever seen in my life no no no. second best bengali movie i've ever seen in my life so that, that's how good the director is and only a few days back he made a biography on shottajit rai and uh, the journey he went, uh, the journey Shottojit Rai went through while making uh, his films and mainly Pathir Pachali. And he, he documented that situation very well. That was a brilliant movie and brought tears to my eyes countless times. Uh, and so the, the situation here was that uh, a few days back, some furor happened. Some people started saying that since there's so much black money coming out here and there and so much corruption is all around, where are the intellectuals now? Uh, since in 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, all the intellectuals of Bengal had come out in support of Mamata Banerjee when she was kicking the Tata factory out of Bengal for no fucking reason, even though 80% of the farmers of the place called Shingur had supported the factory. And then that factory shifted to Sanand in Gujarat and is now uh, a gigantic uh, manufacturing hub. And so all of those intellectuals and Mamata Banerjee and Trinamool Congress uh, killed industry and hasn't yet recovered from that loss today. So where are those intellectuals now uh, and what are they saying about this current corruption? So uh, CPIM gathered some of their left leaning, uh, actually, uh, so CPIM leaning intellectuals because all intellectuals in Bengal are left leaning. So CPIM leaning le uh, intellectuals gathered with some one or two CPM uh, le uh, big leaders and held out some processions. After that, they went to a press conference where a journalist from Jago Bangla, Jago Bangla is the official uh, Trinamool Congress newspaper. He asked some question and I could not find the footage of what the hell did that journalist ask exactly. But the response that uh, I saw here that I've uh, shared in the video as well is that Onik Dutta says that uh, why are you uh, making unsubst unsubstantiated claims of um, hinting? Why are you hinting that I'm in? I'm doing it for uh, to help BJP. So I think some something like that was accused of him. That uh, what I, what you are doing isn't it going to help help BJP? Or are you helping BJP deliberately? So something of that sort. And Onik, Onik Dottal fucking lost his mind and absolutely hammered the guy down verbally. And he says, "Chop." And uh, you should be ashamed that you are a journalist for Jago Bangla. You guys are uh, doing the lali for Trinamool and all. That's what he says essentially. Now, my point here is that in any situation, this is not justified. Uh, in any other situation, no matter who the political party and no matter who the guy is saying it and no matter who the journalist, I would not have defended this. But Onik Dotto has a special history behind this. Let me tell you that. That history. So, 
uh, the the film that he made uh, bhutar bhavishwat after that he made a sequel to that comedy and he called it bhavishwater bhut now the problem with bhutar bhavishwat the prequel was that there was one major very significant comic character which was essentially based on the types of goons trinamool congress has there is a very distinct uh, kind of goons every party has so everyone kind of knew that okay he is hinting this at trinamool okay trinamool please don't sue me but it was hinted that it's it was from trinamool that guy that character then in the second movie uh, he apparently i haven't seen it to this day because it got banned even though there were no mass protests or something uh, the 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 government just banned it because apparently he had uh, made some direct references to <laughs> to some of the trinamool party leaders and when mamta banerjee was asked about this she said don't ask me this question i'm not going to answer you so that was the end of it and after that another movie of his released and i don't know where the fuck it went i don't even i didn't even know that there was a movie he made after that because when i was doing some basic research while making this movie that's when this movie popped up on his wikipedia and then he makes this satyajit ray biography now the controversy with that was that it didn't get released in nondon nondon is sort of the pilgrimage the main temple of uh, film lovers in bengal and it was inaugurated by shottojit ray himself and that's where that movie did not release it all the kolkata film festival and, and stuff for years it has been happening in happening in nondon so he has faced personal financial losses because of this government he has faced personal ostracization he is not like just some uh, some intellectual who sits at home and and is angry with the government for for bringing in fascism or for doing or for doing black money he has been personally deeply affected in his career in his social life for the last 5 to 6 years or maybe 10 years ever since the first bhutar bhavishwat release so when you're keeping all that in mind i think it's we can cut cut him some slack i think it's kind of a little justified that outburst was justified and the and the thing i liked even more is what what he said the very next day or the same day because he was, he was wearing the same shirt but the video the interview released uh, the next day on some other news channel he he directly said that intel the word intellectual has now become a gali i like that admission so he says buddhijibi the word buddhijibi has become a gali and the word buddhiji the the way we talk about intellectuals in bengal has become a gali for actually a long time you you should remember this if you are a non bengali and you live outside bengal you should know this term and use it everywhere we have a term since we have so many intellectuals around and since so many of our intellectuals are wrong 90% of the time for decades after decades we have uh, a derogatory term for intellectuals as well we call them atels it's a derivative of the word intellectual so remember whenever an intellectual stupid fuck is is or an academic is talking down on you or is saying shit that don't make sense call him an atel call him or her an atel that's what we call them in bengal and as for uh, trinamool stand on free speech i've given just a uh, just an example right now and re- let me remind you one other thing that happened a few years back uh, srijit mukherjee who is probably the most popular director in uh, in bengal he made uh, an adaptation of the julius caesar play and he called it zulfikar uh, which was based Uh, uh based on the uh, muslim localities of kolkata and there were many anti socials and good people uh, obviously he is not going to show a completely uh, anti uh, muslim uh, story uh, living in bengal but uh, the entire trailer had to be reuploaded a few days later because some malvis had apparently protested against it because guess why simply because he had mentioned the names of the places where the these fictional antisocials of the movie live that's why she had he had to reupload the trailer and uh, no one came in support of srijit then so even in the movie and in the trailer as well so the the names of the places were redubbed to to mute them uh, so the mix had to happen uh, a, a second time i guess so maybe you are saying the sentence but right when the name of the place comes in the 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 voice goes blank and the only the lip shakes and you can if you are in you are, if you are from kolkata you can tell what the place of the name is because uh, it was easy to guess and most people had seen the trailer beforehand as well so it was not a big sur- big uh, mystery to anyone so i don't know what they achieved by making srijit do that but that's it that's the uh, that's the free speech stance of this bengal government